But when you have a look at that, Glenn, I'm tempted to say you're not surprised because because they've got so many players and, and Mauricio mm. Pochettino is trying, trying to sieve through them all, isn't he, to find his best system and to find, and you guys always say, relationships on the pitch. Yeah, do you know what? It's, it's a little bit similar to what we were speaking about Nottingham Forest at the start of last year. They've yeah. just brought so many players in and a lot of unproven players, in all fairness, uh, for, for Chelsea. And I think it's going to take them time to, to adjust the Premier League, to adjust the paces, the rigours of it. And I do actually think Pochettino is the right man to bring the best out of a, a young, mouldable group of, of very, very talented footballers. Just got to, try, like you say, get those right relationships, get into gear. It's, it's, it's difficult when there's so much onus and pressure on them as well. Well, it's difficult when there are so many players to choose from, isn't it? I mean, it, it, well, it is a real problem in, in itself. 100%. You could say that for both sides, couldn't you? I mean... I'm, I've never seen a game of football. I mean, how many players not in the actually in the squad from both teams must have <laughs> yeah. been watching that football match? Yesterday? They were I playing mean, at the training ground, I yeah, think, yeah. against <laughs> each other. I mean, in, incredible. Um, the amount of players what, what both teams have... But it's up to the manager to sort it out. And it, he, needs, he needs help. He needs to get rid... I mean, it's, they've been helped out by the Saudi Pro League a little bit, you know, taking a few of the dead wood. Um, and I think now they need a lot more out, as many as possible, um, because he wants to work with a small squad. He always does. You know, you hear managers a lot talking about, you know, we need we need a, a bigger squad. What do you we want to work with, 23, quality. 25? Absolutely, you can't do more than that. No You're more than that. 25 in the squad. And then, especially when you're when you're Pochettino as well and you, and you do put your head over the academy and you do want to give an opportunity to a younger player. So he needs to trim that squad and they need to help him out with it because you get a lot of big crack characters in your training ground and it's not a healthy atmosphere when not everyone's happy. No. Um, and you can't keep everyone happy. And I think the previous couple of managers have tried to keep everyone, especially Potter, I think he tried to keep everyone too happy. And in the end, he loses his job because he wasn't firm enough. Um, I hope Pochettino, does, and I don't believe he will. I think he will sort it out in the end. I, I agree with Glenn. Um, but he needs to start sorting it out soon because, like, he, like we said with Eddie Howe, you spend the money and no one spent more than they have, it comes with pressure. He's never had money before. He's done brilliant at Tottenham with... with Listen, he spent money, but it was nowhere near the amounts he spent now. Now he's got to start showing that he can cope with it. We should give plenty of praise to Nottingham Forest. They ran also very close on in the opening day. They were very unlucky not to get anything at Old Trafford last time. Elangra is one of their, another batch of summer signings. But how one of your former clubs, how impressed have you been with the way they've started this season? I've been really impressed. And again, a big turnover of players. They only scored, uh, secured eight points last season away from home. Three already this season. And Alanga come from Manchester United, point to prove. And I think the positive thing for, for Nottingham Forest is when I looked at the players, the long list of players, should I say, that they signed last season, they were unknown quantity. This year, yeah. they, they signed and proven Premier League quality. Yeah. And you know what? From last, from last weekend, they went 2-0 up at Old Trafford. And if anything, the goals probably came a little bit too early for them. Yeah. And it's a difficult place to hang on. They'd done it last weekend, so they went, went one up again against Chelsea. They, they knew it was like they dug in, and they got to deserve three points. Yeah. I think they're safe, I really do. I think they've done enough good business. hudson Adoy in. Brennan Johnson now. I mean, 18 months ago, if you would have asked me what player I would have liked for uh, Tottenham, you know, I know Brendan Johnson's gone, I would have said hudson Adoy. I think it was an amazing swap. That will be. I think the boy will flourish. I think they've signed some fantastic Alanga. Plus you're 40 there. million up, basically, aren't Absolutely. you? On the Hudson, the door I think it's brilliant, brilliant business. And they've got a top manager in Cooper. So they're, they're safe. They're safe. I can tell yeah. you the three are going down now. <laughs> well, you just into September. <laughs> uh, time for one more break now. But in part three, we'll see the action from a hugely important match at Bramall Lane with Sheffield United and Everton.